do I really want this? <laughs> do I really want to continue to put up with this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, thank you for tuning into Chris Codes. My name is Crystal and welcome to my channel. If you haven't already hit the like button, notification bell if you will, comment, subscribe, and yeah, let's get right into the video. So this video today is going to be about basically I, I'm gonna title it Flirting with the Familiar, but it's basically going back to previous relationships or going back to previous workplaces or anything like going back to things that you know are not good for you so let's get right into it so in several past relationships I think like not all of them because sometimes you just did it right there and done but I feel like in a lot of past relationships I made very bad decisions on going back to certain things or certain people that didn't work well with my spirit it's just because it was familiar so that's why I'm going to call this video flirting with the familiar so a lot of times um, when you don't heal from past relationships or you don't take that time to heal you tend to run backwards it's just like running in a race and instead of taking off <laughs> you start running back <laughs> you know you start backtracking to things that you have no business going back to so i feel like this is a really um great topic for me to speak on just because i've made this mistake and i've overcame this mistake in this season of my life so i want to help other people to fix this in their life as well so let's get on the first part of this which i feel like is like a huge reason why um we do these things is just because of fear for one you invest so much time and energy into a person or into a certain situation and you feel as though you know this has to work or i put so much so much of my time or so much of my life into this so I just know it has to work I know I can fix it and a lot of times those things cannot be fixed another um thing with fear I feel like it is you're scared to start over you're scared to open yourself up to someone else and a lot of times that's because you didn't heal from that relationship altogether you didn't take the time away to wake up that's what they say hindsight is 2020 you didn't take the time to separate yourself from the toxic situation you were in to fully heal so when you get into another relationship and that's not working out you run back to your ex or you run back to that job because you didn't take the time to heal so another big big aspect i feel i didn't write any notes i'm just going off the dome on this one so if i'm like mm, thinking that's why so I feel like another reason why we tend to flirt with the familiar or go back to our old workplaces or our exes and stuff like that is because you're comfortable. You're very, very comfortable. You're like, okay, I know this person, you know, I know what's going to happen. I know them. So, you know, it's, it's comfortable, like comfortability is he in this and sometimes you have to get out your comfort zone you got to realize okay i can be by myself <laughs> and once you by yourself sometimes you don't it's hard for somebody else to come in because you're scared they're gonna take your piece <laughs> okay like sometimes being comfortable is not always best like do you think billionaires or people that like establish huge multi-million dollar companies and stuff like that do you think that being comfortable got them there no it didn't <laughs> no it didn't like you some you have to get out your comfort zone you have to take that leap of faith okay and i feel once you do that you'd be grateful that you did and then you'll look back 
on that past job or on that past relationship and think, wow, I was really putting up with that. <laughs> you know, I was really, I was really dealing with that. And who knows what you all dealt with, you know, like, I feel like a lot of uh, my exes have cheated and just never saw it, you know, or just never, well, you might have saw it, but didn't want to believe it type of thing. You never just red handed caught him in the act, but you knew at the end of the day and you'll stay, you like, you'll stay with that person because you're thinking, oh, they never do that and all that type of stuff. Honey, honey. <laughs> Like, that's not the case. It's not the case. And let me tell you something. A lot of times when you're, like, in certain relationships, trust me, you can ask multiple men when they meet you. A lot of times when they meet somebody that they know they can spend the rest of their life with, within a week or two, they know. They already know. So if you're two, three years in and it seems like it's not going anywhere, a lot of times it's not. You know, you have well, you have those times where, yeah, it does, it works out in the end, but do you really want to be somebody's girlfriend for a decade? <laughs> you know, like, I mean, to each his own, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> I can do that all by myself, okay? Another thing is I'm going to talk about, like, um, red like red flags and stuff like that in another um video but like when you have um certain men that'll do like silent treatments is what i call them you'll start to you take that time take that time where you get into an argument or something like a blow up or something like that and they like to disappear and all that that's what i call the silent treatment it's just manipulation. I have a video on that to put y'all up on some game. But it's manipulation. They're trying to train you like a dog. But you need to take that time and really contemplate. Do I really want this? <laughs> Do I really want to continue to put up with this? Do I want a grown man that can't communicate? Let me tell you from experience. No, you don't. And once you're gone, you're going to thank God that he got you out of it, okay? So, next thing on for flirting with the familiar is, do you think that going back to something that didn't work out the first time is a great idea? <sighs> I don't think so. Okay, ask yourself, why didn't this work out? Just really, really think hard about it. Just really, really think about it. Like, why did this not work out? And think. And then, I tell you, like, love is like blindness. When you think you're in love, and I'm big thing on think you're in love, you have blinders on. Like, you're ignoring the fact that are right in front of you, okay? You're ignoring the facts. And you can know, because when I say your instinct is everything. Your instinct is everything. When you think something's going down, it's going down. When you think something's happening, it's happening. But you, you have to take that initiative and believe in yourself and know, know that that's what's happening and that's what you're not going to put up with. Okay? You all got to take this time, me me included, because I'm telling you, I've done it time and time again. Going back to things that don't serve you. Don't go, don't finally, oh, I'm finally going to leave this job. I'm done with this job. You know, I'm not, I'm not about to be putting up with this. And then you go to another job and run into a few things that you don't like about the workplace and you want to run back to that job especially for my people that put in two weeks um you left that job for a reason you left that job for a reason so what's going back gonna do 
have you even more irritated with the workplace than more than where what you were before And then when you don't, have you ever had a moment in time where you went back to an ex and it was just all peaches and gravy, <laughs> you know, peaches and cream at first. And then they do something and boom, you remember something else that they did that was just like that. And you're asking yourself, why did I put myself in that same predicament? Like. We can't keep doing it, people. You can't keep doing it. You can't keep letting, like, fear and comfortability and, you know, you can't keep letting it, like, control your life. You got to take that leap of faith. You got to know that you can do better and you deserve better. And once you start realizing that, you'll get it. If you're in a, you know, toxic relationship, as we like to say, or if you're in a toxic workplace and you take those necessary steps to escape, stay away. And in, I'm not saying like, and I'm like a big believer in like the no contact rule um, that a lot of people um, speak on. And I'm not saying just be na rude and be nasty and stuff like that i'm not saying do that because that's not my cup of tea either i don't i don't believe in treating people the way they th the way they treat you you know i don't believe in that you know the Bible says treat people how you want to be treated so do that and if this person isn't serving you and if this, per if this person isn't treating you like the queen that you are, like the king that you are, tell them, have a nice day. <laughs> have a nice day, okay? You don't, you don't have to put up with it and you don't have to be nasty when you're leaving either. And if they contact you or some, something of the sort, you could be sweet, you could be kind, but stand firm. The job called you back. Oh, what can we do? Um, so I, I heard you're you, you put in your two week and you're leaving. Um, so where are you going? Oh, I'm going here. Okay, what are you? What are they offering you? Oh, where they're offering me this much, and you know, well, what if we what if we match that? No, 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 no. But you know why you left. Can they buy you? <laughs> Depends on the number. <laughs> Just like, but yeah, like, if you know why you left that place, why go back? Why go back? Say, no, you know, I do appreciate the opportunity you all have given me, but I think it's my time to exit. But I thank you. That's it. The ex come back. Want to work things out? Oh, they changed. They God spoke to them. Okay, <laughs> you know. And now you're like, oh, maybe he has changed, or maybe this, or maybe that. And you know what? Maybe sometimes they have. That don't mean that's the person for you. Especially if you few years in, they had more than enough time to get it right. Don't you think? <laughs> Yeah, they had enough time to get to know you and know what you like, what you don't like. They've had more than enough time. We've given jobs. We've given people. We've given situations more than enough time to work itself out. Time's up. <laughs> okay. So, with that being said... My final thought is we're no longer going to continue to flirt with the familiar, okay? We're no longer going to keep settling for less. We're going to expect the best. Look at me, rhyming. <laughs> all right? So, I really thank you all for sitting here and listening to me chit-chat it up. And 
yeah so we are doing a wardrobe wednesday um i'm switching up the schedule as you can see um this video is like super late but sometimes like when i feel like talking it's a little late and so who knows if it's gonna be six whatever a lot of times i'm trying i'm going to try and stick to six o'clock but if it's not i do apologize but i will keep the witty videos rolling but the wardrobe wednesdays i am going to be doing every other week so i am going to be doing one this week but that's just because the wardrobe wednesday is a little bit more time consuming and you know sis has a job <laughs> okay so once again, thank you all for tuning in to Chris Codes. If you haven't already, hit the like button, notification bell, if you will. Comment, subscribe, and yeah. Thank you. Bye.